please? Um, I'd like to report um, the manager for Brent Mind, Esdras. I don't know his full name, mm -hmm. but he has made threats to have me falsely institutionalized following a breach of my human rights by reading my social media and using it to incriminate me and taking evidence from somebody that has been harassing me. This is a person that I've been reporting to the police about. He's actually made threats. I have evidence of it. Media. Yeah, he's he's trying to gather incriminating evidence by reading my social media and the things that he's chosen to actually zoom in on are rather suspicious considering what's on it. He only zoomed in on the names, he didn't zoom in on anything else, which means that there is something corrupt going on behind the scenes. Because I put stuff a lot of stuff on my social media that could could have possibly had had me incriminated and he didn't mention any of those, he just mentioned the names. which proves that there's corruption and intentional negligence going on. And now he's bringing in mental health in order to strengthen his case. This is a threat and it's blackmail. Sorry? When did he make the uh, threats towards you? He made those threats earlier on today. Um, I can't remember the time exactly, but it was, within, it was within this hour because we had to have a meeting about the harassment that number six was doing. And instead, the focus turned onto me and whether or not I was taking my medication, which is an expected turn because that's how it usually turns. Every time I report about harassment, it doesn't matter whether I have evidence or not, the... Um, the question always comes back around onto my medication. So who was in the meeting? Um, it was um, a support worker. I'm not going to say his name. Yeah, that's um, fine because I, I don't think that he wanted to be necessarily involved in doing something like this. I think he just wanted to get clarity on the situation. So I don't want to say the support worker's name, um, but he was present and then there was another, um, the, the manager was present. So it was myself, the manager and the support worker, the manager address and the support worker who is new, he's a temp. Wow. So I didn't want to bring him into this because I don't think he wanted to be involved. Okay, so the way it works is the manager that I spoke to is the manager of the entire Brent sector of mind. Right, okay. And the person who manages the building, the person who actually comes over to check on all the tenants is actually um, the support worker. And the support worker changes quite often because the staff turnover at Brent Mind is quite high. I did actually question him and he would not answer me. Mm -hmm. This is, this is, this is, uh, this is unheard of. Cause the thing is when I had to sit in front of him and we actually, you know, we had a meeting the last time about another tenant that was harassing me. The tenant actually brought up my social media to try and incriminate me 
And it actually surprises me that he's pulling the same move and yet he's not, he's not actually telling anybody how he got the information, which means he, he was looking at it when he wasn't supposed to be looking at it or the suspicious circumstances surrounding it, why he was looking at it in the first place. No, 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 no. Um, when it comes to um, affairs surrounding in corruption and intentional negligence, I make sure that my posts are public so that everyone can see what's going on because the authorities have lied before and they've put my mental health and my physical health, health in danger, um, lying about my harassment and lying about the circumstances in which they're trying to incriminate me with. So I always make them public. At the same time, when it comes to my main perpetrators themselves, I do have some of them blocked just in case. And they yeah. still manage to find my social media anyway. So, um, are you still there? Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm just consulting with one of my managers. I won't keep you a moment. Okie dokie. Well, yeah, basically, because they got my Twitter, because um, the only person who started screaming, stop saying my name, was actually number six. Mm -hmm. So it was definitely her that showed him my social media. But mm -hmm. the one thing that support workers and managers don't normally do is let me know that they've seen it. Because I know they've been mm -hmm. looking at it. They've been looking at it for years. But the fact that they're bringing that up now is kind of telling because it kind of, tells how close to the truth I am about what's going on because I don't normally get this desperate. Okay. I also want it noted that um, the way this harassment has been intensified is actually a threat to my life and possibly to the life of the harassers themselves. I think this whole thing is actually an incitement to terrorism, um, which is actually very, very serious. Like obviously the people who you've previously 
supportive for harassment are then colluding with the people who should be looking after you. Right, basically, yeah. That's exactly what's happening. It's been like this for years. It's it's been it's been like this for years. I just didn't have, you know, enough evidence before, but now everybody can see what's been going on. That is correct, yes. Okay. What, what area do you, because obviously we just had uh, various areas for the appointments cars. What area um, would you come under? More? I think, uh, yeah, I think I'd actually come under Brent, actually. Right, okay. But people from Graham Park and Collindale have, in Collindale have come to see me because right. Collindale is nearer. Right, so okay. even though even though my jurisdiction is technically Brent, I'm actually closer yes. to Barnet. It does need to be as quickly as possible because Edraz is already uh, Esdras is already um, on the phone to. I feel I feel like he's probably already on the phone to my care coordinator, um, falsely trying to get me mm-hmm. institutionalized already. The, the first available appointment we've got is at nine o'clock on Thursday morning. That's fine, yeah. but yeah, fine. yeah, it's the quick the quicker the better because he's. Um, He's abusing his power and he needs to be held in account for it. Okay. Right, okay. I'll put that all in for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, let me give you a reference number so you've got something for your records. Yeah. Which is 5727. Yeah. And today's date, which is the 8th of July. Okay. And if, like, for whatever reason, say something comes up, and that you need to change it or you decide to think, right, do you know what, I'm gonna, I am want to step with soon, I'm going to pop into a police station and make a report, mm-hmm. then uh, just give us a call back and just let us know and we'll uh, cancel the appointment. Okay, all right, thank you very much. Okay, all right, you take care. All right, and you? Thank you, bye-bye. All right, bye. bye. Oh, sugar. All right, so, yeah, I'm a woman of my word. I said I was going to report the abuse of power and I have done... You guys have seen everything on Facebook Live. Well, you've heard everything on Facebook Live. You've got evidence of, um, you know, everything that's been going on. So it's not just me who's a witness to it. It's everybody who's a witness to it now. So, you know, and notice I have like you need to look through my Twitter and see through all the things that I've actually said. The fact that I've said those things. And the thing, and the one thing, the key issue that he brought up was me bringing up people's names. That's a red flag, and you need to watch out for that. So anyway, I'm gonna go. I want to thank everyone for watching. I will keep you updated. I will keep you posted. Don't worry about it. This month is ugly for a lot of TIs, but we're hanging in there. Okay, we're hanging in there. I've got to surrender my tenancy because I've named names. That's fine. That's the reason why I named names in the first place because I was piecing the F out of here. I I wasn't staying amongst these people. And now we wait and we see what happens with Low Carter. We see what happens with Brent Mind and what they're going to do. 
because at the end of the day, if they're involved in corruption, they need to be held in account for it because this shit is deep. And that's not even the first time of Brent Mind have lied about my fucking mental health. That's not even the first time they've done it. But except now I've got evidence. Anyway, I will, you know, I will love you and leave you guys. I have so much to tell you. Like, I have so much information to give you. It's not even funny. But I will get to it. I promise you. Take care. Bye.